blockchain as we know it today is uh, written with the problem that everything has to be public. So every bit and piece of information needs to be public. It has been uh, tried to remedy this by using knowledge proofs. knowledge proof is a great way to start, but it does not solve the problem. You want to have some state private, but you still want to compute on it. So you want to keep your search preferences private and you want to keep your uh, shopping history private. This is what Patricia Blockchain can give you. From the very beginning, we had this uh, feeling and belief that this was a breakthrough in digitalization. It was an early stage technology and we see today how powerful this uh, technology is. First of all, it's about bringing privacy to blockchain which is the ability to compute directly on encrypted data. Second, it's about interoperability, which is the ability to move data as well as values in the form of tokens from one blockchain to another. And finally, it's about scalability, which is the ability to address any congestion in the network by scaling up the capability of the network and also in an environmental friendly way. In traditional blockchains, all data is public and publicly available for everyone to see. But privacy is a, a, a paramount need when you're working with, uh, uh, with blockchain and with uh, sensitive data. Essentially, everything that you can imagine you want to do, from financial transactions, from, uh, uh, from simple games, or from more important applications, requires some degree of privacy. We are combining the decentralization of blockchain with the privacy and confidentiality of secure multi-party computation. The zero knowledge layer is what allows people to actually create smart contracts where not everything is public. Only the results of secret calculations are made public. So for instance, when you run an auction, all the bits can be kept secret, like in sealed envelopes, and we only reveal the winner when the auction is completed. This is important because the blockchain space has been missing a secure blockchain that actually allows you to perform certain calculations or computations in secret and then only revealing the results. In blockchains in general, one of the strengths is that everything is kept in a shared ledger that everyone can access, so all the actions that have been executed are visible to everyone. But this multi-party computation or zero knowledge layer that we are adding will actually allow you to create much more interesting contracts and much more interesting usages of the blockchains than the classical blockchains allow. What is multi-party computation? One distinguishing feature of Batisha blockchain is that it's based on, on secure computation. What that means is that if you're putting your confidential data into the system, it can be set up so that either you or someone you trust retain control over that data. So even if some other participant in the system get hacked and get everything stolen, your data will not be stolen. What that means is you're sending encrypted data. But the fact is, you can do much more with encrypted data than just sending it from A to B. You can also compute an encrypted data. MPC is special in that you can enter your data into some system that will compute some results that, that, that you want to see, but in such a way that you retain complete control over your data. The data that people would otherwise have to put on blockchain and sort of hope that you, that you have privacy if other people behave well, uh, this is not the case anymore because with, with uh, secure computation, you retain control. What distinguishes Patricia blockchain is that it's designed to be a vehicle for secure computation, for, for, for MPC and zero knowledge computation. The multi, secure multi-party computation that we offer is actually a breakthrough that allows you to orchestrate these secure computations on the blockchain itself. And uh, that will mean that the smart contract coding that goes into the secure calculation is also part of the chain and you can be more secure as a user uh, of the blockchain that the computation happens exactly as it has been programmed. We can actually allow the world to use secure multi-party computation and the power of the blockchain to achieve things that has not been possible until now, where we can allow ordinary programmers to actually create their own smart contracts that will help enterprises and organizations to make a difference in the world. In the Patricia community, we can really see that there's a lot of enthusiasm and there's a lot of people who've actually seen the light in what Patricia can bring to the world. I've 
actually been working with this uh, technology for more than uh, 15 years and I still feel the same excitement about the potentials for this technology because it's very rare that you have technology that's fundamentally changed the way we work with information. But with multi-party computation combined with blockchain, you actually have the capability to control data. Now we can actually have a user-centric a data-driven uh, economy where the users use the technology to take back control of data. And we already see now the number of, of developer teams that is uh, coming in and developing applications on, on top of uh, the network. Applications that we didn't even think about that will utilize these capabilities of privacy, interoperability in a scalable way.